because you guys love our cooking videos yeah. all our cooking videos have over 100,000 views yeah. so it's like it's like you want it so we're giving it to you <laughs> What would you sit down in pond fufu yet you can buy a pack that is has pond and fufu? All you do is boil it. No, that's not fufu. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. Today is a good day. Yesterday it rained. Um, today is also cloudy, as you guys can see. But it's not raining. It was drizzling in the morning and they thought it would really rain, but it stopped drizzling. So today um, we are going to shop at the market. Don't even look at my nails. Like, oh my God. You guys know I had put some stick ons and they've been coming off. <laughs> I think I'm just going to remove this last two. Anyway, today uh we are going to shop do some shopping because you want to cook and I, of course i'm not alone i'm with the newest bride in ghana you guys what's up hi you guys oh this <laughs> oh you oh you forgot you had it yes. i thought it was a style <laughs> i mean it's okay i mean it's, it's nice yeah, it's nice yeah so yeah we are going to shop for another cooking um vlog Mm -hmm. Because um, you guys love our cooking videos, yes. all our cooking videos have over a hundred thousand views. Yes. So it's like it's like you want it, so we are giving it to you. <laughs> yeah. So today is going to be an interesting food. That's um, rice ball with granite soup. Mm -hmm. But I'm contemplating which type of protein to use. Whether I should use meat or chicken. I really love meat. Me too. And yeah, and we'll add a little of fish, mm -hmm. assorted ones. Um, so we're making the list of things to get here after we get you the, the, the feedback on what we had because we are going to the market with a very limited um, money but we want to get everything on the list mm -hmm. so stay tuned and yeah. so the list on the items we have broken rice that's two cups mind you I said we are going um, to the market with very limited money so we have rice the protein rice we have tomatoes we have meat or chicken we have fish that's tuna it's, a, it's not called salmon it's it's tuna we have our granite paste peanut butter and we have our peas that's abedua i don't know the name i mean someone said it earlier but i didn't put it in my head i need to get local spices and we get um salted beef because we have some of the things here we buy onions yeah we're done so what are we cooking um rice balls with peanut butter soup or granite soup i've never had of rice balls before i know peanut butter soup but I'm, i've never made it before so this is something totally new mm -hmm. uh but i i I, uh, I don't know if we can also make that green vegetable green vegetable no why well, that's you can eat it with um, a bacon. That's um, oh, you almost. mean it can't be eaten with the green vegetable? No, but we can cook it and then put it in the plate. Yeah, the green vegetable is very healthy, so yes. I like it. And the you can just take it with plain the rice. Soup. The green vegetable that some people put meat inside, I think, is yeah, one Yeah, well, we'll see. All right, let's see. Let's go. Guys, we are at the market. So many spices to buy, so many food stuff. Cereals, rice, gosh. Um 
we are buying this fish and of course you know in Ghana food they always put pepper so we're getting pepper as well yeah this is the second place we've come we were somewhere else but we didn't get all the spices there so we had to come back here yeah, now we go home guys so we are finally back in the house we got everything we needed now we want to start cooking so yeah stay tuned in i hope you guys love this episode i hope you learn something new especially if you're not Ghanaian. Um, if you're kenyan like me or if you're from watching from any other corner of africa or the world stay tuned in because um, i'm super excited something that is very unique about ghana is their food cooks very differently very uniquely and tastes really 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 good so yeah watch this if you want to surprise your boyfriend your husband your friend your family with your with an amazing dish yeah, so let's go guys so these are the things that we bought we have a type of fish here what do you call this fish this one here catfish catfish Okay. Have I eaten this before? I guess I've eaten it in Ghana, I'm not yeah. sure. Um, tomato. Tomato. This is yeah. another type of fish. Um, oh, this is what was in the fridge. Tuna. Yeah. Why, why have you bought this rice and we have this rice already? So this is used for rice balls because mm -hmm. it softens our We got onions. We've got this. I've been told this is for blood. Um, yeah, <laughs> you've got some carrots, um, some spices, and uh, we also got cucumber, uh, what do you call this again? Um, of course, pepper. Pepper is a must in a Ghana home, are you kidding me? Ginger, and um, we also got beef, by the way. We preferred beef to chicken, so we want to start boiling the beef. And the ginger, Did, should it blend? Yeah, we will be blending. Everything is about blending in Ghana. Everything in Ghana is about blending. You heard it. <laughs> we are going to blend. Cut them and put it in a blender. So let's move the blender. I thought you were blending everything and then we cut this. Because in Kenya, that's what I do. I blend um everything and then we cut this are you gonna cut some or you're gonna blend all of them uh, not all of them some okay. maybe i would have to cut some because of my okay okay so one thing about her she doesn't peel her ginger yeah why it's medicinal okay always i okay. always say. are you happy about how your wedding went yes. you are I me mean, for me let me tell you my favorite thing about your wedding okay your outfits like oh my oh. god the person who was making your outfits <laughs> and then you know now you've given me pressure i've seen yeah, guys in my yeah, comment yeah. section saying yeah. 2d <laughs> see how colorful the wedding is this is what we want no, no, you know no, she has set the standards no, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god mm -hmm. it had my color what's your color my favorite color yellow, yellow. Yeah, oh nice so Oh, that's why we had yellow both days. Yes. <laughs> I had a lot of people saying that. Aren't you changing your wedding colors? I was like, no. no. I think they were really perfect, you yellow, know. Yellow is yellow. Oh, that's yellow nice. Yellow. <laughs> I mean, I can't change yellow. <laughs> yellow is happiness. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yellow actually represents happiness. Yeah, the sun, I'm, joy. I'm, I'm, I'm always happy when I see. Oh, yellow yeah. Stuff. Oh, that's nice. Right, that's so that duster, yellow yeah. duster over there makes you happy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so that's me. So my room was painted yellow. So I was like, hey, mm -hmm. get some eye. I mean, look, look mature. So you mean yellow has been your favorite color yeah. since you were young? No, 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 no. I wasn't, it wasn't my color since I was young. Okay. When I went to the university, I saw a couple of people like in yellow, but I was like, ah, why yellow? I don't know what happened that made me really, I know. really love yellow, but 
Cause me I like uh, I've, I've loved different colors, but they change with time. When I was very young, I loved pink. There's a time it was purple, maroon. I've never loved pink. Really? Mm-mm. Oh wow. Okay. I, You're a different no, kind of girl. Yeah. I've never loved it. I only like um black. Mm-hmm. I loved black so much. Black. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. I know my favorite color is black. Yeah. So. I mean, like, when, when you said that, I was like, because <gasps> that was my favorite too. Uh, I I love black so much. Literally, I had all my friends black. Oh wow. So it came to to yellow. Okay. So those are my two colors. I actually wanted to use black and yellow in your wedding. Yes, but. I know, like a lot of people will criticize why black. I know. Why this? Why? So I was like, okay, just take something close to to black. Which is gray. gray. Oh wow! Now I get it. Yes, now I get I, it. That's why I took the gray. Oh, okay, that's nice. At least my mom will talk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Mm-hmm. So what do you have here? Yeah, um, local spices called Inka Tinkati and Rosemary. Inka Tinkati. <laughs> yeah, I know we have the the um, 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 the name for it, but I've forgotten. In fact, if you know, let us know in the in the words in the comment section. <laughs> so here we have a variety, right. and this is what gives the Ghana food, you know, its tastes. The way they blend all these. So mm-hmm. let's go. Guys, look at our sufuria. What do you call this in Ghana? In, in Kenya, we call it sufuria. This thing you put the food in to cook. Ah, we call it chance. 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 Yeah. I say the same thing. This is a different accent. Eh. Mm-hmm. Oh. So this is our chance. Guys, I hope you learned a new word. Uh, sufuria in Ghana is called chance. So you put in our meat. We washed it. We have our beef inside there. We have tomato, cucumber, carrot. I don't understand why she's doing this. Yeah, I I just want everything to be fast. Okay. And we don't need to waste a lot of time. So I just want to put everything in one pot. Okay. To be good. Some people will do it differently. Okay. This is ours. That's why I always say that we cook in our ways. Yeah. Guys, it already has an aroma. I can smell the ginger. Mm, yeah, the ginger is pretty strong. Are you gonna put this? Yeah, that will be later. I have to cook it. Okay. Cook it Tastes like a vegetable. Yeah. So you're going to boil this? Yes. Okay. Someone mentioned the name on this um, on YouTube the last time. What was the name of this? Remind us. <laughs> so we're just uh, taking it off from the. Is it the? What do you call the stem or what? I don't know. And then we warm it. Okay. Boil it. We boil it. So let's wash this. It is. So what does it help? Does it make the food slimy or what? No, it doesn't make it slimy. So what? It gives blood. It gives blood. Yeah. It looks like green peas, but clearly it's not peas. Imagine the green peas. I not eat People on this channel, they know everything. I know the letters are in the comment section. So we just wash the fish and what type of fish is this? Clearly it's not tilapia. <laughs> no, it's not tilapia. No, it's not tilapia and it's, it's also not, not catfish. Oh catfish. It's not catfish. It's not catfish, it's not tilapia. Let's show them so that they can tell us. <laughs> what fish is this? It's dried. It's, dry. it's definitely not tilapia, not catfish, and not salmon. Mm-hmm. I might salmon, guy. I don't know. Help us, help us in the comment section. 
We are eating more. Okay, we know, but it escaped our minds. It's not like we don't know. Guys, like I told you last time, if you watch my videos, you know what I say. Ghanaians put different types of meat in their food. That shocked me the first time I came to Ghana. Because in Kenya, if you're eating beef, if you're eating cow meat, it's cow meat. If you're eating fish, tilapia, it's tilapia. If you're eating chicken, then you don't, you don't tenyeji, get it. Tenyeji, you know. You don't Here get, you get everything in one meal. It's like, oh I my mean, god, your time you is want, If you want the real taste, match them. But you're confusing your taste buds. Your taste buds are like, oh, oh chicken. Oh, then the next time you're like, what? Beef? Oh, oh fish? Oh, What's going on? Okay. It's mouth. I thought you were having chicken. You know, it's confusing to the taste buds. <laughs> We are actually not. See, another type of fish. Yes, that is the catfish, dried catfish. Guys, I do not know why, but for me recently, I have been so tired of chicken. I feel like I need a break from chicken. Maybe it's because I've just eaten a lot of meat. I am so tired of chicken. So that's why we don't even have chicken. We have beef and fish. So yeah. let's let's have you know let's do something different. As we said earlier, it's a peanut butter soup. So we have our peanut butter here. I mean, some I am too lazy to you know put it in a, a bowl and add water to mix it up. I always use my blender, which is a fast track thing. Mm -hmm. So I, I mean, put, I'll put the the peanut butter here. We don't take everything because it's a small soup that we are preparing. So this is how they make peanut butter soup. Huh? Yeah. Okay never done this before i am learning so much we have to how popular is this meal in ghana would you say it's very popular the, the peanut butter uh -huh. soup um yes i mean a lot of people do like it a lot of people also hate it because um, it actually make their stomach um stomach upset. absence Ah. Don't like it, but guys are you Ghanaian? do you like the peanut butter soup or no is it not your type of thing drop a comment let's have a conversation oh so she's adding the tomato paste uh, inside oh, interesting emutu see how colorful it is it's boiling Add the tomatoes, the tomatoes, then carrots, the cucumber, everything here. Yeah. So you wanna put them there and blend them. And blend them. Okay. Let's see if I, I fail or not. No, we you know you have to try different things in this <laughs> life. You don't always go by the book. You, know? you go as you invent. So I can't wait to see how it's gonna turn out. We are done blending. Everything is here. The tomatoes, onion. Um, You're adding it to the stock. Yeah, I'm adding it to the stock. Wow, yeah. this is how they get pig soup in Ghana. I mean, if I need know to now, add no. more water to it because mm. pig will become thick any time. Okay. She's saying that it's time to make the rice. And I'm asking her how we're gonna make the rice. And she's like, it's not made in the normal way. It has to be very soft. Why does it have to be soft? So we can So we make it like ugali. Yes. Ugali is like I don't know how to is it banko to yes. you? Oh wow. Oh really? Oh wow. Yeah, so wow. Oh, wow. That's shocking because <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. Oh, I have wow. never seen anything like that before, so that's why. Anyway, yeah. can't wait to see. So, if, are we washing it? Yeah, we need to wash it. And then um, we wash it and then we put it on fire. Guys, yeah, so this is it. We finally boiled it. Um, so, what's gonna happen is it's gonna get blended. And then, after the blending, we're going to add it to that. Yeah, guys, you've added it. Um, and here we have the rice. The rice, as you can see, this is very, it's very small. It's really small pieces. It's called rice. They say it's called broken rice. And this is what they're going to use to, to make rice balls. So never seen this before. I can't wait to see how they make the rice balls. 
you 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 feel like salt needs to taste in rice. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I feel like you shouldn't taste in rice. It, it should just remove the tasteless much. taste in rice. Mm, yeah. Not too much. It mm -hmm. shouldn't be salty. But it should have that. You didn't feel that in my rice? No. What? It was, it was too dry. I was Oh, that is Maya's rice. Thank you. It's Maya who cooks. Uh, yeah, it's my. I told him so yesterday night it was Maya's rice. My rice is. <laughs> was so oh, yeah, that was my rice. I was I was cooking and he came and told me, "Let me show you. Let me show you how to do it." Hey, patience. What's going on? I'm so happy. I know. So the rice couldn't. Uh, up to this, but I mean, it was up to more than yeah. This is too small for the rice. What did you say? This thing is called again. This is for Um, chance, chance. The chance was too small, so mm -hmm. we had to transfer the rice to the bigger one over there. So, In the meantime, she's eating. Um, she I think you're like Maya, he loves the nini for the rice. <laughs> what is it called? The burnt rice down here. It's, That's what she um, enjoys the most. Kanzo. Do you enjoy this? Drop a comment and let us know. A lot of people enjoy it. Yeah. So then we prepare our rice. It's ready for it to be chilly like that, like like ugali. Ah yes, ugali. That's the one. Yes. This is crazy, guys. Have you eaten this before, or do you know how to make this? Because this is my very first time really? seeing this. I'm fascinated. Yes. So. Oh wow. So we're basically turning the rice into ugali. Oh, interesting. So this is what you call rice balls. Yeah. So what you did is you warmed the rice until it became very soft. Yeah. Okay. You add a lot of water. Mm -hmm. Make sure it doesn't become rice water. Ah. Oh. So if you leave, if you add too much water, it becomes rice water. So it has to be a balance. Yeah. A balance. Very little water is rice. Yeah. Too much water, rice water, and yes. if you put in just enough, you yes. turn it into rice balls. Yeah. Crazy. So this rice is already broken, so you don't need to um, get this. I don't know the name. I don't know what I'm doing. Is it stirring? Stirring. Do you yes. think? Yeah. So, you don't need to stir so much. So much. Oh, we put whatever that's stirring is drink. I don't know. And why is this so big? Why can't it be medium? Why do you Ghanaians ah, love big, big things? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but there is there is a medium size. This is what we have in one million mice. Oh, you have to make okay. use of it. Since you're in a big house, you have to have big things. That's what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> Girl. So yeah. Um, and here our food is still on fire. Uh, we had put the two types of fish first, and then we this is we just put this now because it's a soft kind of fish. It doesn't need to be on water so long. So yeah, and you can see the soup looks really thick and tasty and the aroma. Hmm. So this is how she's making it. She's taking bits of the rice and putting it in on, on this plate. Yeah. And then um what do you call it? Making sure it's round yes. like a ball. Oh like wow. Banku. Like banku. Yeah. And then this is what we have. And guys, you are welcome. This is what we call rice balls. Thank <laughs> me later. So you did put sugar and uh, no. oil here. You didn't put sugar? No, I just put salt. Salt, water and rice. Oh, okay. Yeah, we are giving you this free ingredients. You are welcome. <laughs> and thank you. Look at that. So we are done making the balls, the rice balls. The stew is on fire. Just look at how that kids make this place look. Anyway, um, we're done now. Mm. The aroma. Hey! <laughs> What's going on here? Hey! You know, this wow. I hope you guys will test away with this. Yeah. I told you guys my I love this part. This is the best part of the rice. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I don't know. <laughs> really? Whoa! I told guys you love this part of the rice. You told them that I love yeah. this part of the rice, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. And this is my favorite soup. Oh really? Yeah. Since when you I thought it's fufu. 
Ja, voor voel ik. Uh, Vind je dat zoek? Ja. Nou, oh, wel. Ja, Ik ben wel gaan web. <laughs> I need fufu man. Why are you guys cooking this food? We should get the fufu that they make that is already pounded. No. That's not fufu. But it is, babe. No. Easy work in the 21st no. century. Please. Why I, first should you sit down I, in corn? I want to live in 18th century. I don't want to come back. Oh, guys, look at that thick soup. Oh my god. This looks so good. <laughs> So food is served, looks so tasty, and you're welcome guys. This is how you make, um, it's called what again? Brown and soup. With emu too. With emu too. And rice. Rice balls is called emu too. You don't eat with kids. I eat with what? Bowl. But I was supposed to eat with you and you've, you've eaten a lot. I was going to eat yeah, on the food. And the food is so good, I can't wait. It's okay, it's just in food of me. Okay guys, so let's go and eat now. I hope you liked it.